in our prayers, what should a return be? What should a return be? That God will bring a return. I said to you parents, some of you are the same way. You love your children hard. You've given them. You've sacrificed. You've prayed. You've been up with them late. You've done all you can do. And, and right now, you know, they're not quite doing what they should be doing. They're not living up to the investment that's been poured inside of them. But I say, don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Love never fails. Love, love never fails. Money will fail you. Your health will fail you. The economy will fail. The political system will fail. The economic system will fail. But love, it will never fail. It's like a boomerang. If you love hard, if you invest in people with love and with sacrifice and commis commitment somehow, some kind of way, God will stir that thing around and that love will produce some fruit in the lives of those people that you've poured yourself into. Well, I'm, I'm going to stop right there. We need the church so that we can learn how to walk together. We can learn how to walk in humility together and lowliness and be gentle to each other and suffer with each other over long times and, and bear each other's burdens and love. And we work together to create a sense of union. A world that's torn apart, there's fracture, where there's division, where there's schism, where there's hatred, where there's bitterness. That in the midst of all of that chaos and confusion, God creates an oasis called a local church that is permeated with unity and devotion and love and commitment. And it becomes a new community by the grace of God. And in God's own timetable, he used it like a magnet or like honey to draw bees. And people who are hurting and who are broken, who want a better life, they said there's a place where people gather together and they offer a better life and they offer a better environment. And I want to be a part of that. And God uses the people of God, the new community, to rebuild people, to reconnect people to help people to find that they can, they can live again. So there's one body, one spirit, one hope, one faith, one baptism, and one God and Father. You know, every now and then, and they still haven't figured out what I'm saying when I say this, my kids do something stupid. And I said, I just need to swab your mouth. <laughs> Anybody know what I'm talking about? I need to swab your mouth. They don't, they don't know what I'm talking about. I, I need to swab your mouth. I, I need to go up here to the DNA shop. <laughs> I need to kind of find out well, what DNA you got, what genes you got. And how you get that type of thinking and philosophy about life. I'm trying to find out, do you just look like a watch or you really are one? <laughs> you, 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 you talk like one, you, you look like one, you, you got flat feet like one, but I'm beginning to wonder whether you're really one. That, that talk you got, that, that philosophy, the way you're looking at the world. You, you, got, you got one father and you weren't taught that. You got one father and you weren't shown that. that. That wasn't the example you had. So I'm trying to figure out where it came from. I'm just trying to figure out where it came from because we need to kill this before it multiplies. This is dangerous. This is called a pandemic. This can destroy us all. You see, you have to have those conversations sometimes. And remind those that are close to you, look, we can do better than this. We, we can do better. God expects more from us than this. And we have to remind ourselves of that, you know. God expects something from us. God expects something. God has invested a whole lot in me. And I look at the people that God has put into my life from the time I was a little boy growing up. The quality of people that have been around me. The quality of educators I had in grammar school. 
in middle school, high school, and college, even the drunks on the street that took interest in me. I've had no excuse. God expecting something. I'm trying to figure out God expect. I better do something. My mama said, every number jump up and down. Do something. Do something. Stir up something. Make, make something happen. Because God is expecting something. And God's expecting something from us. And we can do better than what we're doing. And by the grace of God, we will. We will do better. Amen? Because we're going to learn how to walk better together. We can learn how to teach each other to walk better. And in so doing, we're going to attract the attention of other people who want to do better. Let's stop right there. We still have communion for the day. Let's bow for prayer, shall we? Father, we thank you for the privilege once again to stand before your people, try to open the book, cause us all to look once again at the word and allow the word to be a 